So let's really talk about polypharmacy. You can see this picture of someone who's just made up of pills. And sometimes when I look through people's charts or I talk to people or they bring me their medications, I think to myself, you know, with everything they're ingesting, you know, they're just head to toe pills. So what is polypharmacy? Basically, it's just taking too many medications. So poly meaning many and pharmacy referring to medications. So big word to mean, hey, are you taking too much stuff? Usually they define it as taking five or more medications, but many people take even more than that or have problems when they're taking less medications. So it could be taking more medications that than are medically required for you. So with each addition of a medication, the risk for a drug-drug or a drug-disease interaction increases, and I want you to know what those are. A drug-drug interaction, you can probably guess, is when one drug interferes with how another drug works. Either it makes that first drug work way more than it should or way less than it should, or it totally nullifies the effect of that drug. A drug-disease interaction is when you have a disease and you're taking a drug perhaps for something else, not for that disease state, but it's negatively impacting your disease. So a really good example of that is people who have cognitive impairment. Maybe they have a little dementia, a little memory problem, and then we give, the, give them, let's say, Tylenol PM, like that person in the case study. That can impair your judgment. It can impair the way that you think. And so your memory is getting worse. Even though you may be taking a drug to help your memory, that Tylenol PM could be counteracting that. So it's important to know, hey, there's a problem with taking too many medications. It can increase the risk in adverse drug reactions, and an adverse drug reaction is something that happens when you take a drug that you're not expecting that is bad. So for example, again, with your Tylenol PM or several medications, that can cause you to fall. I know that I've taken that at night sometime and got not to go to the bathroom and I'm a little wobbly on my way there. It's one of the side effects of those medications, but when you're elderly and you fall, that can be very serious. There's an increase in the risk of side effects, maybe even a decrease in your physical function or your mobility. If you're taking a lot of medications that tend to make you depressed or not feel well or become dizzy or you're worried that you're going to fall, you might not move around as much, and that can really decrease your ability to further move. People, especially as they get older, don't recover as well from just sitting around. You've got to keep moving. It increases the likelihood that someone will prescribe another medication to treat a side effect of a medication you're already on, and that's called a prescribing cascade, and we'll get to a little bit more about what that is in a minute. And I don't know about you, but my brand new insurance company this year has much higher insurance co-pays, so if you are on a lot of medications, that can mean a lot of money, and that's important to me, and it's probably important to you too. So the less medications you're on, probably better for your pocketbook as well.